I promise. Um, we're going to sit down now with Lawrence Baca, who is winning this year a Lifetime Achievement Award from the Spanish Art Market. So, Lawrence, thanks so much for coming. Thanks for really appreciate me. you being here. Thank uh, you. Congratulations again on the award. Um, how does it feel? It's it's uh, it's a great honor. It's uh, quite a surprise, but uh, it's it's been a whirlwind. Actually, I think I'm still settling in on, on, yeah. on the award, still but kind it, of getting it feels your, great. Your brain around it. Yeah, yeah, uh, exactly. You said 23 years you've been doing uh, the Spanish market specifically. How Correct. long have you been working on? How long have you been creating this art? Well, just not long, not much longer than that. Yeah. 25 years okay. around. Yeah. So it was right around when I started that I actually got into market. Yeah, and we're right in the middle. I mean, this is the, the this is the this is the market. We're right in the middle of it right we're now. We're right. Yeah, we're the we're the few days before mm -hmm. the market uh, preview is on Friday night. Yeah. And marking a Saturday and Sunday. You anticipating uh, another good turnout, another good year? I think so. Good. Yeah, good. I really am. Good. Good. Okay, we're uh, in contact with a lot of people that we know are coming in, and mm -hmm. it always brings in a great crowd. Good. 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 Are, do Do you think most of the are most of the artists like you? Are there folks who have been coming back year after year and and putting their work on display for, for people, uh, or are there a lot of new artists every year? Um, actually, there every year. Certain artists are juried into certain categories, so so it all depends on the quality of work, whether they were juried in or not, yeah. and that that dictates the new artists coming in. Gotcha. But there are plenty of artists that have been there as long as I have, or or even a lot longer. A few have been there longer than I have, and so it's a it's a group that has been together for a while. Yeah. And and always the group is growing. So you get to know each other pretty well. Yeah. And kind of build a little bit of a family. Around. Definitely, yeah, definitely. Nice. A lot of my best friends are market artists. Yeah, and how many are local versus folks coming in internationally? I know there's a ton of great art on display. Well, well, we're having a sound <laughs> issue. This is Christina, everybody. Say hi. Hi, Christina. Uh, she's going to get right in there and work on that the works. microphone okay. a little bit. Hopefully that worked. All right, Joe, how we doing? All right, we're good to go. Okay. Well, actually, the Spanish market are artists that are from New Mexico or Southern Colorado. Got it. Okay. And so, okay. but the crowd that it attracts is worldwide. He's international. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. It That's brings absolutely. people from all over the world in. <clears throat> no, it's one of the highlights of our, well, of our tourist season, but also of our art and our cultural scene here, which it really helps. It's one of those signature events that I think defines Santa Fe. I agree with you. And, and as an artist, it's our best show. It's our best retail yeah. show. Yeah. Um, my wife and I, we do this for a living and, uh, a lot, most of our business is done uh, through galleries. So having this retail show is just a blessing, and it really has created a lot of the following that I have it has been due, especially to Spanish market. Created through Spanish market, yeah. Yep. And I, I'm sure you know, uh, for an artist, it's amazing for an artist to be able to. It's, it's great to be in a community where an artist can survive and make a living doing their art. That's one really thing thing that really makes a big difference in Santa Fe. Having the influence of not only Spanish colonial art, but art of all medias. And it's right here, right in our front and backyards. And I, it's one of the pluses of, of living in Santa Fe, Great. no doubt, yeah. no doubt. Yeah. Well, let's take a look at some of these beautiful pieces okay. that you brought with us. I could either leave them in the tray or pull them out with their pendants. Yeah. And uh, this is a Sacred Heart pendant. It has 22 karat gold and sterling silver are the metals. It has a beautiful star ruby. And uh, it's textured. I textured. I texture all of my pieces, back and front. And then there's also stamp work involved in this piece. Mm. This okay. particular piece. What are some of the what are what are some of the meaning of some of the symbols that are involved in the Sacred Heart pendants? The, the Sacred Heart pendants are, it's the uh, the Sacred Heart of Mary, or, the, or and um, the meaning is just the sacrifice. I think that Mary gave. And I think that that's the significance of mm -hmm. a sacred heart. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. All right. And this is a uh, uh, cross with a looks like pieces of eight. They're cast pieces that we cast ourselves. Oh, I see. Yeah. This was a uh, the influence from this piece was uh, the Atocha shipwreck. Mm -hmm. uh, um, so a lot of the treasure they pulled up from the Atocha. They had these beautiful pieces of eight. They uh, so we kind of took that idea from this. And again, this is the work back and front on these pieces. Yeah, so there's multiple, there's multiple dimensions Multi to each piece. Yeah, and multiple layers and, and a lot of different techniques involved. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Stamp work and, and of course soldering and 
So, and this piece is a, a nice, bold, kind of simple piece, but that simplicity really says a lot, and it's a uh, charcoal cast piece with a beautiful piece of Caraco uh, turquoise, and, it, and there's a little stamp work around that bezel. What is charcoal cast? What does that mean exactly? That's how this piece was made. If you take a look at the, the texture, I'm not mm -hmm. sure what Yeah, no, that's perfect. You hold it up it. just a little there. Yeah, okay. perfect. There you the go. The texture, so the charcoal, we actually carve into the charcoal itself. And so we're carving and carving a cross design in the oh, charcoal. I see. Yeah. And we melt our metal right into the charcoal. So oh, wow. that gives it that neat texture, looks like a wood texture. Yep. And yep. uh and the mold itself is actually the charcoal. So they're one of a kind pieces. Very cool. Yeah. And uh and, and I just love that texture that it gives. Oh, very neat. So what are some of the other techniques that you use to create these pieces? Well I do a lot of stamp work and uh, that's done with just individual stamps and a hammer and that's how you st a lot of a lot of these lines here stamp work mm -hmm. and so are these designs right in here hold it up a little bit for the yeah perfect there you go okay so these stamps that's stamp work involved in that and there's soldering involved in this piece of course mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. the heart was cut out with a jeweler saw so there's sawing ah okay so yeah. each, each one of these hearts is individually cut out and, and then there's forming as well. So to get the, the depth of the piece, uh, I form it from behind. So I'm taking a repose tool and pushing the metal out. So that gives you kind of the puffiness that, and the depth. Yeah, that sort of curve. Right. Interesting, that's beautiful. Yeah. And then texturing, gorgeous. you know, all this is uh, textured. So there's a, there's a flower texture on this piece in particular. And I, I, I like doing my, my piece is in full. I like working on the backs as well as the fronts. Yeah, having it be a really 360 degree kind of experience. They're, they're exactly. beautiful. They're absolutely gorgeous Thank you. pieces. Where can people Thanks. find you at the market? We, well, we are on the corner of uh, Palace Avenue and Lincoln Avenue. Okay. So we've been there for 23 years yeah. and we're at our same place. And I'm represented here in town. I'm not sure I could yeah, mention that. Yeah, go ahead, that. absolutely. At uh, uh, True West, the okay. new gallery that opened on yeah. Lincoln Avenue. Mm -hmm. Yep, we're excited to see them move in there. So yeah. yeah. That's a beautiful space. Well, great, Lawrence. Thank you. Is there anything else that you want to add or throw out there? Just um, that I uh, hope to see uh, you guys all out at market this weekend. Um, very thankful for getting this award. It means a lot. I'm very honored. And I uh, look forward to to many more years of the Spanish market. Us too. Thanks so much. Great right. to meet you. Congratulations Thanks, again. Man.